Arkansas Insurance License. There are several steps to get your insurance license in Arkansas. In this article you will receive all the primary information that will assist you to gain the Arkansas Insurance License. You need to pass the pre-licensing course before applying for the examination. You may study in the classroom or online. The course may last up to 20 hours, life, accident, health, sickness, property, casualty, personal lines. The time overlook is required in Arkansas in case of the online courses. You need to complete the required number of study hours. A proctor must follow the exam for self-study courses. He should be a licensed agent or a third-party person, who does not have any relationship with the applicant. As soon as you complete the course, you may apply for the licensing exam. And before you submit the exam, you need to obtain the certificate of the completed educational course. The applicant cannot get the permission to take part in the exam if he does not present his certificate. The expiration date of the certificate lasts two years from the completion date. A candidate must present the following documents. Primary ID with a photo and not expired signature. Secondary ID, that includes a signature. Proof of pre-licensing education. To complete the exam, you need to score at least 70% of the test. The fee for the exam for life, health, property, personal lines, title, crop hail, surplus lines is $50. And the exam fee for the general adjuster, property adjuster, adjuster is $40. You need to complete the electronic resident licensing at NIPR. The cost for the application is $20. Another significant part of getting an insurance license in Arkansas is passing the criminal background and fingerprint checking process. If there is a fraud upon your background check, then this will slow down the licensing process. You will receive a confirmation message of your request via email. You can print your license at NIPR after 24 hours of passing the exam. Arkansas licensees must complete the required continuing education by licensee's birth date every year. If the licensee does not hold the license for a full year, then he may apply for continuing education the other year. The adjusters may complete the continuing education on their birthday or before it.